afternoon. It's 1 p.m. Well, it's actually, um, it's 12.56. Almost 1 p.m. I have just gotten out of bed. I don't know what's happening. I will wake up at a somewhat decent time. Like I'll wake up at like nine and I will go to the bathroom, go to lay down with my cats. And then I just pass out. And I don't know why. It's like, I do know why. It's because I'm trying to function on like four to five hours of sleep. And my body is like, girl, what are you trying to, what do you, what do you think you're doing? Like, who do you think I am? However, I used to be able to just like force myself out of bed, but I like get back in bed and I immediately pass out. See, the thing is, is you're probably thinking there's a simple solution. Just don't get back in bed once you wake up. Like, just get up. But cuddling with my cats, that's kind of a big priority for me. Do I already spend like 75% of my day cuddling with my cats? Yes. But the morning cuddle is very important to our bond with each other. But it's 1 p.m. and we're doing kind of like a little day in the life type of thing. Hello, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. I hope you have had a good week. Let me know how your week was. Let me know something good that happened or something bad, you know, you can share. But, you know, I think it's always good to remember positive stuff that has happened. Um, actually today, what I'm gonna do is I have to book a flight and a hotel to Paris because I'm going back to Paris, which I'm really excited for because number one, I get to see my friends and number two, I can film in Paris. So I'm going to go to Paris with the two people. If you guys have watched my Amsterdam vlogs, you know who I'm talking about, it's Jay and Hannah. And I'm gonna be seeing them for New Year's and I can film there because I didn't get to film the first time I went. I wanna do so many like, so much traveling and stuff, but oh. There's this thing called money and that's just. <clears throat> I'm going to drink some pre-workout. I'm gonna go to the gym. And I'm gonna clean my apartment and do laundry. Do I even have any clean clothes? Oh crap. How do I get some schoolwork done? Maybe I'll try to knock out like an hour or two. That's the game plan for today. And then I have the night to relax. Also, by the time you guys are seeing this, I think it should be before Saturday. If I'm, if I'm good, it'll get up on Friday. If YouTube is good and there's no technical difficulties, it'll be up on Friday. But I'm doing a Viper cosplay stream. If you don't know who Viper is, she's a character in Valorant. I'm doing a cosplay of her on Saturday on my Twitch and we're getting, we're doing a little drinking over there. So come stop by and say hi, follow me on Twitch and on Instagram, please. Cause once I hit 10,000 and like, you know, I stay at 10,000 so I can do the swipe up feature on my story on Instagram. I will literally never ask you guys to follow me on Instagram ever again. Pre-workout time. I feel like I need to clarify, like yeah, it's 2 p.m. and you're probably wondering like, oh my God, it's so late for them to have their first meal. I fed them at like five in the morning. So I am exposing myself that my sleep schedule is once again messed up. Yeah, so I fed them at like five, 5.30 in the morning. That's the thing when it comes to sleep is it's so, so easy to mess up your sleep schedule. It literally takes one night one night to mess up your sleep schedule. Like I was doing pretty well. And then my friend is currently on vacation and he messaged me, he was like, hey, do you wanna watch a movie? Uh, because he was gonna be staying up all night anyway because he had an early flight. I think his flight was at like six. He's like, I'm just gonna pull an all nighter and try to sleep on the plane. And I was like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, and I plan on going to sleep right after the movie. And I just ended up staying up with him and talking to him till like 6.30 in the morning. And that one night, which was a few days ago, yeah, it messed me up. It messed me up. So now back to going to sleep at a ridiculous time. Someone explain to me, why is it so, so hard to fix your sleeping schedule, but it's so easy to ruin it. I could try to do that thing where I pull an all-nighter and I just stay up the entire day. I could do another video where I do that. I did a video a while ago um, where I pulled an all-nighter to try to fix my sleep schedule. It works for a little bit, but I could give it a shot. I could give it a try. What do you guys think? Do you guys want to see that again? Let me know. We could do that again. But now we go to the gym.
guys, the stove is on. Please get off. Just got out of the shower. And while I was in the shower, I have the laundry running. So I'm gonna make some food. It's 4 p.m. I'm gonna make some food, some breakfast, I guess, if you wanna call it that. And get ready, and then I'm gonna clean and then do school stuff. I got time, I can do this. But I'm just gonna have a BLT on a bagel with cheese and mayo. And I'm feeling crazy. It's quirky girl hours. I'm gonna make some waffle fries. I also just had a massive breakdown um, in the shower. Like I was just crying my eyes out because before I got in the shower, I saw this TikTok using this audio where it's like, you took away my friend, my buddy. And it just messed me up because it was about her cat that got killed by like a bunch of dogs. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Like the idea, like I see those TikToks all the time and they never fail to make me just full on sob, like disgusting, heaving, wailing sob at the idea of losing my cats. Like I'm literally done. Like when my cats go, y'all will never hear from me again because I will be like done, you know? Not too shabby. Mmm, <laughs> BLT on everything bagel hits different. It's so good on everything bagel. Oh my God. Mmm, pretty fire. Oh my, Kyo. It's always Kyo. It's always gotta be Kyo. I ate my food and I fed my cats. Now it's time to show you guys how I catfish people into thinking that I'm way better looking than I naturally am. That's a joke. And I feel like people always say things like girls only wear makeup for male attention. And I'm like, you think I do all of this for a man? Ladies, hit me up. I'm just kidding. But really, I just like doing my makeup. I don't know, doing my makeup makes me feel more put together. I feel like I'm more productive when I do my makeup. Not always put on face makeup, only sometimes. I also feel like people always ask me for a makeup tutorial. I've done makeup tutorials in the past, just not videos dedicated to my makeup tutorials. Oh, you know what? I still have to book a flight today. That's what I have to do. I still have to clean, so I gotta do some schoolwork. Still have to book a flight, still have to book a hotel. So much to do, so much to do, so little time. This is the concealer that I use. And then this is the foundation I use. Is this foundation? It's the M Cosmetics Dream Cushion. Do you ever watch someone's vlog or day in the life or something like that? And you're like, how do you have more hours than I do? Like it feels like they have more time. And I just, I don't understand. I'm jealous. I wanna be like that. And then to set all this makeup, I use this transparent loose powder. And then I'm taking this M Cosmetics Divine Skies Eyeshadow Palette in Magic Hour. Cute! <clears throat> now this is a random thought, but like, I feel like I always talk about, you know, love yourself, accept yourself kind of thing. But I don't know, people always ask like, do you still have insecurities? I do, I do. They never really regard like my weight or my body from the neck down. <laughs> Something that I still kind of struggle with is, uh, I'm not trying to blame anyone specifically, like idols or anything like that, but it's just the fact that the standard in Korea, like standard Korean beauty, is have double eyelids. Like a lot, like the most popular surgery, I think in Korea is eyelid surgery. I'm not gonna lie, it tempts me. It tempts me sometimes, the idea of getting double eyelids. Do you ever get annoyed at yourself? Like, why don't I love myself? I don't know. Like, I still get insecure about my face and stuff. Like, I don't think I'm pretty. I don't know. It's more I go through moments where I'm just, I'm telling myself, damn girl, you look so good. You are, you are fine. Anyone would be lucky to have you. And then there's this other half of me that's like, Check yourself, sweetie. You're not that cute. Can anyone else relate to that? You go back and forth and you can go back and forth within a matter of seconds. We could all be a little kinder to ourselves. Fake it till you make it, sweetie. And sometimes when I say things like that, I feel, I get a little nervous that's coming off as me saying, like I'm against plastic surgery or something like that. If you wanna do work to yourself and you have the money and a good surgeon, you do you. Not hating on that. The reason I don't wanna get plastic surgery for my eyelids is because I know I'm not doing it because I really want to. Like I'm not doing it because I hate my monolids. I'm doing it because I was taught to hate my monolids. It came from an outside source, you know what I mean? And then blush, which is like my favorite part. Where's the blush? This blush is M Cosmetics. I use so much M Cosmetics, not even funny. Um, Heaven's Glow Magic Hour blush. It's so pretty. Oh my God, am I a makeup guru? Sorry, I had to go change my battery, but now we have, we're doing brows. This is the Anastasia Browlist. I've been using this for, Years. I've been using this since I was in high school. It's been a long time because <laughs> I'm old. I'm actually not old. I'm not old, but for some reason, you know when someone says, oh my God, you're 
40? You look so good for a 40 year old. It's like, yeah, cause they're 40. 40 is young. It's just a kid type of mentality. Because trust me, if you're like 16 now and you think 25 is old, you're gonna get to 25 and be like, wait a minute. I have this lip pencil, M Cosmetics again, and then also this lip cushion, M Cosmetics again. So we just put that on and then we put lashes on and we're done. That's how your girl catfishes. <laughs> I have to clean. I have to clean. I'm so tired, but we're gonna, I wanted to do some schoolwork. We're gonna do some schoolwork. And then I get to relax and play some games with my friends. So for dinner, I made rapoki, but I made it like black bean style. Kind of reminds me of Tapaguri from Parasite. I played some New World, which is this new game. Well, is it new? I think it's been out for just a little bit. It's pretty new though. It's called New World. How many times can I say new? And I've been like really into it lately. A lot of my friends really like it. It was pretty fun. So I played that for a few hours. It's like 11 p.m. now. Mm. I feel like I've been having rapoki almost every night lately. Mm. I feel like I was pretty productive today. Go me. I am like exhausted now. Not exhausted, like ready to go to bed exhausted, but just drained. I just want to lay down and turn my brain off. I didn't even do that much today, but I feel like I did a lot. Is that the mindset of someone who's lazy? Okay, Kyo, sweetie. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop doing that, okay? Okay? You see this? But yeah, cookie, Whole Foods cookie. Best chocolate chip cookies that I have had. Whole Foods cookies and Sprouts cookies. These cookies are just perfect. Nothing wrong with them. They're just so good. Okay, it's in here in my room. It's like two in the morning. I am super tired. I'm so exhausted, which is good. Hopefully I will wake up before noon tomorrow. <laughs> That's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so let me know, but if you absolutely hated it, which I would not blame you for, you can give it a thumbs down. <laughs> That's okay too. And before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, <laughs> and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>